Now, the passing of former Oregon Governor and Portland Mayor Neil Goldschmidt opens up painful memories for one journalist who became close to the former governor's sexual assault victim. This is Coin 6 News at 4. I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Todd Hunger. Former Oregonian columnist Margie Boulay interviewed that victim and provides a window into what an unspeakable secret this was at the time. Coin 6 political director Ken Boddy is here. And Ken, she says that a lot of people knew about this but did nothing. Yes, because either they owed their careers to Neil Goldschmidt or they were afraid of reprisal from one of the most powerful political figures in Oregon at the time. Boulay says the victim, who died in 2011 at age 49, told her the abuse started at age 13 and lasted for more than a decade. I talked to her many, many times at great length. It came about because I got a telephone call one day from someone I had written a column about several years previously. And she said, um, my best friend was Neil Goldschmidt's victim. And she's upset that his side of the story got told and she was portrayed really negatively and she wants her side to be told. Boulay told me that victim was open about her mental illness and persistent drug and alcohol problems that dogged her until the end of her life. Boulay says all of those problems can be tied to Goldschmidt and the abuse that victim experienced for years, starting when she was just a freshman at St. Mary's Academy, just blocks from City Hall. But I always knew that when he died, everyone would be talking about all his accomplishments and what a great leader he was and how charismatic he was and how he pushed through programs that were really valuable. And I knew that she would be what she always feared she would be, which was an afterthought that people really didn't care very much about. And that's why I'm giving this interview for you, Ken, because it's, it's so important that she be remembered as who she was and who she might have been. She was so smart. She was funny. She was kind. She was generous. Boulay told me the victim intended to sue Goldschmidt after the statute of limitations for statutory rape expired. Boulay says she agreed to a settlement in order to get the money she needed to pay for medications related to her mental health issues. Boulay told me she acknowledges Goldschmidt's political successes, but she's convinced that victim would have had a successful life as well had it not been for Neil Goldschmidt. We'll have more of my interview with Margie Boulay on this Sunday's Eye on Northwest Politics. Mm, yeah, her life probably would have been so much different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ken. Sad story. Thank you. Ken, thanks.